bit of a shock. I was just driving back to where I'm staying at the moment uh, without the caravan and I'd just overtaken someone with my car and then it just started sounding wrong. It was revving but there was no power behind it. I'm like that's not right and then it kind of fixed itself and then it did it again and then it got worse and luckily we kind of just rolled into town and it was getting worse and worse and luckily a friend in the car knew of a garage so we kind of just reached the garage by the end of it I was going 30 kilometers an hour I couldn't go faster and we were, when I stopped I saw we were trailing this liquid all behind the car and it was splattered all up the back yeah it turns out it's a trans transmission they were talking about taking it out and sending it off to get pulled apart and put back together again but that sounds expensive and not guaranteed and would take a long time and I need to be somewhere I've actually got a bit of time I've got one week before I have to be on the road again so they found a spare part this this to be honest this garage has been amazing like the staff have been amazing I rolled in there straight away they came out had a look put it up in the air checked what it was gave me an option on what I could do to fix it and there is a second-hand part that can be sent down here but the earliest it can arrive is Tuesday like there the garage is even willing to drive 20 minutes up the road to pick up this part because the parts truck doesn't quite come where I am so the garage is willing to drive up the road collect the transmission bring it back yeah they've been awesome but they priced up how much it's going to cost and it's probably going to cost about 2k and my car only costs 5k so it feels like this really stupid thing to fix really hopefully they've got the part coming in this afternoon and I think they were planning to take out the transmission from my car and yeah I've just been thinking about it a little bit more and I'm hoping nothing else is damaged because I did drive for a little while while it was playing up and in, my, in the back of my mind I was wondering should I have just pulled over or not but when it happened there was really no place to pull over anyway so, so today's the day I find out if the car is going to be fixed by Friday as well because um, it'll be a bit complicated if it isn't I just popped back into the mechanics and I'm probably that annoying customer it's the second time I've popped in just to see how it's all going and so far so good they've got the, the new well the second hand transmission in and they just had to order a whole lot of transmission fluid and they're doing um, a road worthy test now so in a couple of hours I should know if I can drive it tomorrow to my job so it's sounding promising hopefully hopefully and I know if some of you I mentioned on Facebook when this happened and some people recommended getting a larger transmission cooler but to be honest this mechanic they're good they're known in the area um, but as being a good mechanic and they were super busy and I just feel so thankful that they've been able to get get the job done in time for me so I just I didn't want to add any more work onto them and when this first happened I was thinking should I get a new car shouldn't I right now I'm thinking just wait till after the UK trip and then reassess and decide is this car still worth owning or should I upgrade but the downside of upgrading is I'd need to get a loan and that makes me nervous having no debt frees me up so I can carry on with traveling K and, and it doesn't matter if I'm not earning quite as much from week to week <laughs> it's okay I can just scrape by so we'll see we'll see <laughs> the car is ready to pick up I'm just walking around now woohoo just in time it's about 4 30 and they close at 5 p.m. so I was I hadn't heard from them I, was, I had been expecting to hear around 4 so I was starting to think that it wasn't going to be good news but I rang them and she was like I was just about to call <laughs> that's a huge relief huge relief so hindsight is a beautiful thing thinking back 
my transmission was actually giving me warning signals already. When I was in the South Island, Robbie ended up helping me change the oil in my car and when it was in the air he noticed that the transmission was leaking transmission fluid. Now that's when I really should have actually kept an eye on it. <laughs> Whoops. So I'm kind of, yeah, if I'd taken it to a mechanic in the South Island, would I have had this problem? Back towards you. You're pretty tight. <laughs> I'm clicking. Yes! <laughs> so we don't get it all Smash over the floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yep. Pull it out. Up. <laughs> a little bit on my fingers. <laughs> and now we've got to find out where you where your filter resides. Maybe we'll take that cover off and have a look. I can see it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Can you get it from below here or? Might be easier from the top. Oh yeah. You got automatic transmission you have? It might be automatic transmission. I think it is actually. Oh yeah. What is that? Is that for changing gears? It, yeah, that runs into your automatic. It's a coolant pipe, yeah, it is a coolant pipe from your automatic transmission, runs into the bottom of your radiator. Uh -huh. So you've probably been losing auto transmission oil. And what would that affect? Your gearbox, if you run out of oil, you've got a leak in your, uh, you check the auto transmission fluid when, when we lower it down. <laughs> you have to start the motor, so we can't do that. Yeah, yeah. It's leaking out of the back of the... So this might Gasket. be a... Um, we can, might be able to... I'll just see if, if we... Sometimes you can... Sometimes you can nip them up a bit on the gasket. And they'll take up. Oops. So it's also connected to the gear changing? Yep. It is your gearbox. Yeah. Oh, we'll get a bit out of those. See they're a wee bit loose? Yeah. It's a 50-50 chance whether that'll work or not. Yeah. Usually you have to take that slump off okay. and get a new gasket fitted. Oh, okay. So the oil's come out. I'm just going to put this back in. You can try and unscrew it any clockwise, but I don't think you will be. I think it'll be quite tight. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't leave it either. That's it there, we're trying to unscrew it. And here's Robbie's tool. You have to be a contortionist <laughs> to be a mechanic. <laughs> It'd be a fair bit on. Just like that? Yeah. How tight do you tight do Tight as you can do it. Don't need more? Yeah. <laughs> more arm exercise. Yeah. Back down there. Down. It's right on the bottom. That'll probably do it. Pretty close. A bit more. <laughs> It'll do. That's it. Bang on. Yay. Not much in it. Okay. How, how should it be up to there? It should be up to here. Oh, really? <laughs> All right. Probably take a litre to fill it up to there. So I've bought a small bottle and top it up. So from this point on, I don't actually check. The transmission fluid level or the f it's still leaking underneath it's when i really should have i think i traveled for another month before the transmission went so it could have made a big difference that time actually checking it <laughs> so got my car back and i've uh, attached it to the caravan this is going to be a crazy test for it first 
full day I've got it back and I'm lugging everything for two hours. <laughs> well I just started off driving down the road and the caravan was really squealing on the tow ball and I was wondering maybe think it was just because I haven't haven't uh, attached the car to the caravan for about a week now but it made me realize I suddenly twigged I've got a whole lot of transmission fluid sprayed all the way at the top so it's almost probably like I've got a bit of uh, grease on the tow ball which is a massive no-no so a viewer actually gave me his spare brake cleaner stuff so I'm going to give the tow ball a bloody good clean I've made it to a freedom camping spot called Ray's Rest. Now this freedom camping spot's mentioned all the time. Seems to be a lot of people's favorites. I can see why. So the, the whole way here, my caravan kept groaning when it was turning corners. I, I've been, you know, while I've been driving here, I've been having a think. I thought I'd cleaned it, but maybe just, I need to give it another go, maybe sandpaper it, so. Uh, yeah, that's the thoughts. 